by his young son Archie, seven years of age. It's an emotional old day for the Hogg family. Riding that emotion is going to be something Stuart Hogg is going to have to navigate, particularly over the next couple of minutes. Deep breaths, Hoggy, deep breaths. I tell you what, I'm, I'm sure he'll be pleased to have had the 60 seconds afterwards to wait to receive the kickoff. What a moment. Clearly, Archie has similar pace to his old man. Big occasion requires a uh, big personality and ability in the referee shirt, and we've got it with Luke Pierce, arguably best referee in world rugby right now. He is assisted by Wayne Barnes and Christoph Ridley. Stuart Tierheck is the television match official. We're hoping for a belter at BT Murrayfield. Final game of the Guinness Six Nations in round four, and Scotland will want to get off to an absolute flyer here. They know that in order to sow any sound, any seeds of doubt in that Irish 15 or 23, they need to start well. And every single thing that they do in the next two to three minutes is going to be crucial in the building blocks and platforms for what lies ahead. Ball is lifted towards and gathered just by Hugo Keenan, who needed a bite or two at the cherry. There is a wind there, it's at the Scottish backs. How impactful it will be on the game is difficult to gauge. Down at pitch level, it should be okay. Once it goes high, it's gonna swirl around. Bundiaki will play scrum half for Ireland, who have started so well in all the games in the Guinness Six Nations so far. Murray sends it to the sky. Not surprisingly, Conor Murray will use that box kick and Finn Russell gathers it easily and then pounds it downfield, and that's a really good kick. Brilliant opening kick by Finn Russell. On the green wave comes Murray back from where Ireland came from. Cummings makes a big tackle, needed to be. Scotland keep needing to make those tackles. Ireland continue to play with advantage. The defence from Scotland outstanding so far. That five-metre line has barely been breached. Murray, van der Fleer pulls it back. Sexton flings it long. Hansen, one-on-one, -on -one, in, out. And not over. Massive, massive defensive effort from Scotland. But they're going to have to do it again. you got two options. Nine out of the last ten games, Ireland have scored within the first ten minutes. Scotland have managed to do that. They'll take the three. Sexton, first opportunity through the boots of the afternoon, is as straightforward as they come on Ireland. Come away with three after 12 okay. minutes of pretty significant pressure. Three in the 15, sir. Three in the 15. Van der Merwe keeps the ball in play. got the hands free to find the support runner. Russell will look to do the same. And Van der Merwe he is engulfed by green jerseys just as it looked like he might get away. White makes another couple of metres. Scotland are threatening again. Tackle is on Cummings. Van der Merwe goes in, picks and shunts it back. Fagerson round the corner, Van der Fleer there to meet him. Scotland playing at 100 miles an hour. They have the advantage as well. White once more. Can Scotland find the opening try of this one? Yes, they can! Yes, they can! Hugh Jones is in, and Murrayfield goes bonkers. Cannot stop scoring, Ryle. Hugh Jones, but it's once again this 10, 12, 13 axis. Scotland playing with house chips. Advantage being played. And they knew it. The movement, as so often has been the case, it's the 9 12 ball to Tupolotu. Finn Russell at the back, the short ball on the shoulder to Hugh Jones. Over he goes. 60,000 people out there, out of their seats on their feet. Look at this. The no look pass by Tua Pilotu. Jones does enough, gets the outside angle. Scotland score first, or breach the whitewash first. Sensational score and reward 
for phase after phase of brilliant attack. Well, you know, that man could have written the script for the opening quarter of this game. It's played out exactly as he would have wanted. As Finn Russell adds the extra two, and Scotland lead it by seven points to three. They absorb the pressure that they knew was going to come from Ireland in that opening 10 minutes. Booker, the second row and a number eight in the opening 24 minutes. That's going to disrupt anybody. Here's Conan, Sexton, Mac Hansen. Hugo Keenan looks to straighten the line, and Kyle Stain puts him to ground. In behind, the kick goes again. This one's going to bounce, and low! <laughs> Stuart Hogg, he'll say he had control of that old... Or was it Stuart Hogg? It was, it was doing Van der Merwe. Have the platform of the scrum, and it's rock solid. Ireland! Connor Murray, uh, Jack Conan at the back, and Murray will pick and go, and Aki will try and run over Finn Russell, who sticks to the task and puts Ireland centre on his backside. O'Mahony into the 22 Ireland goal. That's better carrying and better ball presentation from an Irish perspective. Murray in. Back it comes to another willing Irish carrier. Ryan Baird does it clear out work. Murray, Sexton, Van der Fleer in traffic. And Ireland have the ball again. Ryan Baird. Ireland building, really building. Mark Hansen out wide. Hansen for the corner. Big tackle as he went to the corner. The TMO will make the decision. But if you go on the body language, Mac Hansen believes he's yes, got there just and just got Ireland's first try of the business. afternoon. Um, so, no idea I think he did. So there's two things here, I think. Please, no one field decision. Let's see what appears on the screen, please. Okay, the two things that I think they're going to look at Run here... Run through, final tackle, and Steve Graham. ...are going to be the try, was it a try, and B, the tackle coming across, was it a proper tackle? Oh, it's a heck of a finish. It was like a freight train collision. I think Duan van der Merwe's tackle's OK there. And I think Matt Hansen's, I think got, Matt Hansen's got it down. It's a phenomenal finish. It actually just comes needs to from look the pass. We'll see another there, Luke, because the ball is grounded. So I'm just seeing players still in field. Duan van der Merwe stayed down. Not surprised. He's just running to a 40 mile an hour body crash. Around. I don't see that's a clear shoulder charge. It looks to me like the grounding's pretty all right. So we'll let Stu do his work and then. That's not down there. That is there, though, and I don't, he's not Luke. in touch yet there. Yes, go ahead, shoot. Uh, that ball is grounded. Fine, so I may award the try. You may award the try. Thank you. Try awarded. And credit to the officials. There's four experienced guys out there. Luke Pierce using his two assistants and the television match official. They went through whether it was a grounding. They went through whether the tackle was OK or not. And they came up with what we all think is the right answer. Look at that pass by Hugo Keenan. Mack Hansen has no chance of scoring that if the ball isn't on the money. Mack Hansen didn't have to break stride. He could get his hands on the ball, tuck it under the right arm and just beeline for the corner. We're going to go for the corner. I think that's a decision based on them not believing there was enough in the leg to get it there as a penalty rather than being overly ambitious. What a kick that is, though. That is a huge kick. We're in the red at the end of what has been a pulsating first half. And we talked moments ago about the ebb and flow of the game and looking back at the end and saying they were the key moments. Well, Scotland survived, Ireland five metres short with a line-out just moments ago. Can Ireland survive? Scotland line-out, so close to their line. Tui Balotu, Bundiaki is used as a speed bump. The ball, though, is still there for Scotland. Turner sets it up, and it's still alive. Scotland, so close, so, so close. It's a point in it. It's Ireland's by a point. Scotland seven, Ireland eight. You don't want to go away. All of a sudden, this second half bursts into life, and Ireland are the ones pounding on the Scottish door. Gibson Park again, all coming 
from the effort of Mack Hansen in the air. Scotland have their hands on the wrong side of it again. They could be in yellow card trouble. They should be in yellow card trouble. Gibson Park to Peter O'Mahony. O'Mahony bounces off a couple of Scottish defenders. Bundy Aki steps back inside. Aki held up two metres short. Scotland so good defensively close to their line. Conan almost squirts away. There for Gibson Park again. James Ryan is held up. They keep throwing the big bodies at it. Now they go out wide. James Lowe! Eventually the pressure tells. And the Irish that have made the trip to Murrayfield are on their feet. They see that as a pivotal moment. And it was all created by the brilliance of Hansen in the air. Hansen in the air, but Gibson Park with a kick, I have to say. Ryan lining up for it, I thought the ball's kicking from 10 metres inside Scotland's half. This they've got to re reclaim it, but look at Hansen, never takes his eyes off it. Duhan van der Merwe standing under it, doesn't get up to compete. Hansen gets an offload away to Sexton within metres, but there's the wherewithal from Gibson Park. You can be sure that isn't even anywhere near his thought process right now. Every point will count. Sexton knows it and delivers another two. Gibson Park. Keen Healy. Forward momentum. Gibson Park again. Sexton. Sexton on the loop around. Conan drops the shoulder. Good tackle from Hugh Jones. O'Mahony. Gibson Park. Hansen. Little stop and then a little go. And Conan! Carries a couple of defenders, and Ireland have the next try. And Scotland, defensively, were skittles for once. And Ireland are in for the third try, and all of a sudden the scoreboard opens. And Scotland look a little dejected. Oh, and the scoreboard's opened up, but that man there on the end of some really smart work. Ireland just understanding. Just taking the phases to go same way, same way, okay, back yeah, into the 50 meter line, and then the they, they see the blind side. Mack Hansen, look at that. Just takes the ball, squares up the defender, and fizzes one off his left hand. Keenan on the short angle, Duan van der Merwe bites in too far. Gets, gets caught flat footed, you just see there, held by Keenan. Hugh Jones has Hugo Keenan there, and by the time van der Merwe can get out, it's big man on big man, but Conan has the momentum, has the route to the try line, dots down. Ireland now in complete control of this match. Absolutely delighted with the way they've managed so far the adversity that they face, because it's been significant away from home. And right now, they're in control of it. Up go the flags again for Jonathan Sexton. Scotland, Scotland reverberate around Murrayfield. I think the crowd have recognised it. This team has thrown everything that they could and should. Uh, Ireland uh, have come up a bit I'm short, but it's not the sort of defeat where you Thank walk you. away with your head down. No, I don't, I don't think so. It's, it's one way by acknowledge just how good a side Ireland are. This will be a concern for Gregor Townsend with Finn Russell hobbling off at the end of the game. Ireland have been so incredibly good, under a lot of pressure. You look at the disruption within their, within their side in this match. Scotland ha have been scoreless in the second half, which is incredible. That man in picture there has just really encapsulated everything good about Ireland. Their awareness as to keeping the ball alive, moving it around. It, it's, it's finishing the first half under pressure from Van der Merwe, is unbelievable. And Ireland just too good. Hugo Keenan and Ireland into the Scottish 22. This will be the final play of the game. Is it to be a bonus point try? Final play of the game. No, it's not. It's not forward. Two and that downs. will be that. Ireland have weathered the Scottish storm that came. Sexton knew it was coming. Farrell did and his coaching staff too. 
but they managed it and they dealt with the adversity of which there was lots thrown at them. But the world's number one side will head home and face England, knowing that a win will give them a grand slam. James Ryan could have and maybe should have had a bonus point try, but tries from Mac Hansen in the 27th and the 56th minute added to by one he created for Jack Conan on 62 minutes. And Ireland had three tries. Hugh Jones, an opening try for Scotland in the first half. It all adds up to a final score at Murrayfield. Scotland 7, Ireland 22.